Hello, everybody, and welcome to NAW. I'm Nene Ember, and this is Naw, and I am with EOC. It it is good to be here, y'all. We have one hell of a show for you guys today. NAW is gonna come in here and rock this out for you. How are you doing, EOC? I am doing absolutely fabulous. You know, it's been one hell of an off season. Had some time to rest up. Had some time to take care of some business. And we're ready to get this thing started. How about yourself? I'm doing great. And Dante will be with us shortly. But we've got, like you said, we've got one hell of a show going on for us. We've got Ryan Jamison versus Isaiah the Hornet Jenkins. Yes, that should prove to be one hell of a match. It should be noted, this is not a title match. It, he is the hardcore champion, our our friend Ryan, but this will not be for his title today. They're actually, just going out there to put everything on the floor. Actually, he is a two-title champion. That's right, he's also the middleweight. Can't forget about that. Nope, you can't forget about that. And then after that match, we've got Maven Gothley against Alex the Insane One Camino. There you go. Experience versus insanity. How can you choose from either side of that? I'm not sure on that one, but we'll see how that one works out. And then we've got the Italian versus the Italian. Oh, I can't wait for that one. That is right. You got Danny the Thunder coming out here versus one of the relative new guys, Alex Gant. Mm -hmm. Alexius Gant. Pardon my. Well, you might want to get a drool bucket for me, EOC, because, yeah, I'm going to be drooling all over the place on that one. Don't worry. I, I got your cover, partner in crime. We're going to take care of this, and we're going to have one hell of a show. Oh, uh, yeah, we are. So, oh. So, <laughs> let's just recap everybody on how this started. So, last season, how it started was Vince came out, and he wanted face to the place, and, well, NAW got it. They got their space in the place. That's right. They took on the premier team, and as a whole, they really fought hard, and in the end, won themselves a right and a spot here in premieres under premieres title. Yeah, but how they got it, I was a little disappointed at how they got it, but, well, you know, uh, how things happen. You got to understand, though, you know, LBA had to do what LBA had to do to get it. Exactly. You know, sometimes you got to fight a little dirty. Sometimes you got to cheat and steal. But in the end, they earn their spot, and they're going to put on one hell of a show for us tonight. You called it, but hey, he got it. So we'll see what happens this season. Is everybody ready? If you're ready, give us one hell of a cheer. Give us a scream. Give us a woo. Give us anything you got. We need to hear it if you're all ready. Hell yes. Hell yes. Well, it sounds to me like well, they're ready well, to kick well. things off. Look who it is. Lilith, look. It's the sharp dress man, baby. Ah, uh, you got a question? Well, yes, several, actually. No, uh, no, nah, you don't get to talk. This is my interview, not yours. And I don't need no bargain basement virgin loser to speak for me, Mr. LBA, the only Ronin athlete. And I swear to God, if you mean mug me again, I'm going to smack the taste of Joey out your mouth. Beat it. Okay, you know, look, we're here at New Attitude. So you want New Attitude, LBA? I'll show you freaking New Attitude. All right, first, uh, you know what? I don't really want to talk to you. But I'm here because I was asked to be here. So you were asked to be here, okay. Yeah, so I don't need any attitude from some guy who looks like he got caught up in an explosion between an anime convention and the spirit of Halloween. <laughs> so you need to just be quiet. Now, a lot of people want to know why you did what you did. Premier trusted you. I trusted you. And I oh. can see that we were all very oh, wrong to do yeah. that. So, yeah. I think you owe everybody yeah. a little bit of an explanation yeah. there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah, Otaku. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, hello world. As you can see, the colors change, but it's all the same. I am here and on top like always. 
You pigs may be angry at me, and that's all right. I could care less about you castless turds, because tonight, this is the beginning. I put this place in motion. This is the house the Ronin built. You know, I'm going to give you your answer, Dante. It was easy screwing over those PW pukes. You got X, who was so grief-stricken, he became a corporate stooge. Josh Poffo, he's probably having a fosters with his passive-aggressive monkey ass. Matt, hey, little buddy, how's the head? Bet you were in the hospital for a month after I cracked your skull. Maven, shit. He most likely old yeller to self. Trust me, that is best for business. And that leaves me with one man and one solid... <coughs> Ah, LVA, let me ask you something, old friend. And I mean every single word I say right now. You are the man who built N-A-W. Hell, you're Mr. Up All Night Delight. Never you're forget. like those guys who leave wrestling for Hollywood. Only you made it big on the Kabuki Theater circuit, didn't you? You're a multi-talented star. And uh, you're the future of this business, isn't that what you claim? Look, I, I, I hear you, man. I hear you. But I gotta ask you. Can you taste the endless stream of shit as it pours out of your mouth? Excuse me? No, 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 no. Really, really, really. I can't tell if it's the breath from the seaweed you've been snacking on or if it's the shit you're talking. But I followed the scent and here we are right now. So enlighten me, big man. What's the grand plan? Huh. <laughs> look, look... Look, Lilith, look who it is. Speak of the devil. The man. The man. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Venevedivici. Funny you name yourself that, because the only shit you conquered is being in the same place as me and still not world heavyweight champion. Oh, sad, sad man. Point. So you spent, you spent the last season beating up an elderly man. You stand here and mock a culture that will leave somebody like you dead in a ditch somewhere with your bat smashed over your head. Grand plan? You want to know what my grand plan is? Well, that's easy. Taking care of garbage, bottom-dwelling Aussie boys like you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Edgy, man, edgy. Look, Matt, I'm not mocking the culture at all. You've already done that ever since you stepped back into this building. So you've got that covered. You see, there's a bit of a difference here. Let, let, let's just go through this real quick. You've got the all-time greats of Japanese wrestling, the originals. Many of which are probably rolling over in their grave seeing you on here. But for the sake of my point, let's call them manga here. You know, like those little Japanese books you like to read, I'm pretty sure. Then you've got your current generation who work their ass off over there. And for the sake of this example, I'm going to compare them to anime because they are the adaptation that expands on the foundation that built their profession. You, LBA, you are the goddamn Netflix adaptation. You are an unintentional parody of everything you claim to stand for. Please. And you don't see Please. it. You are blind to it. Please. Yet I am the talk of the town because I don't have the World Heavyweight Championship over my shoulder. You see, my belief system is a little bit different compared to yours. I have challenged for that title over and over and over. But I recognize that it was a bit of a selfish venture to continue with it. To continue with that pursuit. Because hey, lose the fans don't want to see... The, they, didn't, they didn't want to see SMF versus Vigilante Hunter number 69. What they wanted to see <laughs> was if Vince Aftermath could back up his words with actions. And most of all, they wanted to see him get his ass kicked. And you know what? I gave the fans what they wanted, and we got our answer about that old corporate stooge, as you like to call him. And as much as I want answers from you right now, since you professionally dodged the question about what your plans were, just like your corporate asshole buddy Vince would. I am done looking for answers here. Mr. Aftermath to you. I am done yeah. looking for answers. I, I, I don't care what you call him. You can call him your damn boyfriend. I don't care. But you know what? You think I don't have my two cents to put in about what you did to Matt? 
to Dante, to Premier Wrestling. I'm not here for small talk anymore. I am here for revenge. Yeah. Yeah, you're here for revenge, right? You stand here and bash me on my interview time, but you don't phase me. I know my worth, and I know all of Japan loves when I smack an Aussie piece of shit like you around. You know what? You know what you are, SMF? You're a plate. You are a plate in NAW. And outright, oh, really? I don't need to insult you. You and me, you and me, we know each other well, friend. Very well. Very well, as much as brothers know each other. And I'm sure you got something to say to me. So instead of plugging these fans, like always, with your childish bullshit, why don't you oh, spit please, it you hear them. out or get out of my face? By the way, by the way, you speak about turning graves, but yet you never pleased your father yet, did you? You leave my goddamn father out of this! It's bad enough Vince bringing it up. Struck bad enough you bringing right? it up. Struck he gave nerve, his huh? life just to get a shot at being where I am today. Yeah. And you know yeah. what? Uh-huh. He worked his ass off on the indies just to get a chance to make it to VAW. Uh-huh. Just to get yeah. a tryout. The same yeah, way I've worked my ass off before the place folded. Where'd that leave but you look at where we are now. Yeah. The Attitude Capital is back on the map with a new attitude. Yeah. Next week... I'm going to make sure you wish you stayed back in those Japanese indie mud shows. Because you don't know the first thing about Attitude. I don't know about Attitude. I don't know about Attitude. You'll find out how dedicated and how much attitude I have when I knock your goddamn head off. Clean off your shoulders, you son of a bitch. Come on, Lily. You want to come watch the action live in person, by yourself, or with your family or friends? Great, let's get started. Check out the description below and come to our arena to buy your tickets. Remember, space is limited. We hope to see you soon. Weighing 305 pounds from Deadwood, South Dakota. It's your hardcore and middleweight champion, Mr. Two Belts himself, the chairman, Ryan Jameson. And I know all you people here to see me because I am the only wrestler on NAW that is worth seeing. As you see, I am the middleweight champion. I am still the hardcore champion. Ain't nobody come up and got in my face and want to try to take me. They know they can't. And this, tonight, and this season, I will show you how a real champion kicks fucking ass. Okay. Hi, Dante. Welcome to the table. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's good to be back at the table. Uh, sorry, my little outburst back there. Uh, uh, LBA just kind of grinds my gears a little bit, you know? No oh, problem, Dante. Great to have you here. I'm telling you, any man who could survive that suit could survive anything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here he comes, his opponent, standing in at 220 pounds, hailing in from Houston, Texas, standing 5'9", he's Isaiah the Hornet Jenkins. You know, what do you think we're going to see tonight, a hornet swarm, maybe a murder, murder hornet? It's a day, you never know certainly can pick and choose from his list of moves. Get some interesting ones. Uh, say you might want to stop paying attention and making love to the crowd and turn around there, buddy. No, oh, wait, is that Jax? Say, hey, that's it. Right, oh, God, it's Jax, it's Jax. Jax just attacked Isaiah. Oh, wow. He's got that oh. shillelagh in his hand. He just, he just bashed Isaiah across the back of the head. Oh, my God. What the heck is this? What's going on? Seriously? It, you, would ex, you know, it, 
know, I hate to say it, but I nothing ever, you know, Ryan, really, nothing ever really surprises me with you anymore. Nothing. Jax just picked Isaiah up over his head and slammed him down onto the entrance ramp. God, really? Oh. That's how it's going to be. The Jameson family mob. No, no, Nay, this is new attitude wrestling. Go ahead, be mean. Sorry. It, now, I hate to make the comparison, but a long time ago, this had brought, Ryan's acting how Ace used to act a long time ago. That's true. Ace used to pull some really underhanded, dirty moves to get his way and win his matches. Chairs. You know, now they're using family members. What's next? Using fans? I'm wouldn't sure there's a couple of people me. who wouldn't mind jumping in the ring and taking him out. Actually, no, I don't think I would be. See, that's how it is. I don't go and cheer one way or the other. Yeah. And, and you know, the bell hasn't even rung. This match hasn't even started, and Isaiah's already been had be beaten across the back of the head, thrown down onto the mat, and now drop kicked into the ring. So. Is it the match is still going to start? Seriously? I mean, there's the referee. I don't, I don't know what the officials are thinking. Oh, I, Brad, you've got two choices. to start the match, or you will find out why they call me a chair. Oh, what, are you going to hit the ref with the chair now? I'll put it past him. Yeah. You know, he's hit higher paid officials than oh. just a lowly old referee, you know. No, I'm getting through my headphones that, yes, the match is on. This is absolutely despicable. Is they even fit to do this? Uh, he doesn't look too good, if you ask me. Yeah, I kind of hate to say it, but you kind of reap what you sow. This is the Ryan somebody Zay allied himself with. So, you know, oh, I yeah. guess he's just sort of getting his comeuppance, as much as I hate to say that. You know, he's so worn out, he might not even have the strength to pull himself up to the top of the ropes at this point. Yeah, I don't think Isaiah even knows where he is right now. Nope, I don't think he does. No, we know where he is in a lot of uh, a lot of trouble. That is for sure, and ooh. Ryan a with a broke kick. Ooh. Ow. That is going to be a bad day for sure. He's just going to rub it in now. He's got the advantage, and now he's just going to play the bully. Oh, Lord. Oh, there, big surprise. There's the pin. One, two. What? Only a two? Wow, how did he even have any energy to kick out of that? The man's been assaulted on his way out to the ring, and now he's got... The freaking chairman laying on top of him. It's like playing with your food. And Zaya just like. hit Ryan with a stoner out of nowhere, trying to fight back. Oof. Nice. Now both men are down. That was that was a brave move, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Now the ref's starting his count. Ouch. This is just too painful to even watch. Seriously, it is. This may end up in a count out if neither one of them can get up. Like Ryan's the first one getting back to his feet at the count of eight. It looks like we have a new referee for NAW, guys. Grayson's new. At least it's not Earl, because this one could count. That's a good Exactly. Thing. You know what? You made it past three. You're officially on the payroll, whoever you may be. Yes, Ryan tossing like Isaiah that. into the ropes with a big Larry at the kill shot. And yeah, that he, is Ryan's finisher, the kill shot. You know, uh, Earl doesn't look good in red. And there goes Ryan with the pin. Oh, look at that. Ryan's got his feet on the ropes, too. One, two, and three, of course. And the winner of your match, the chairman, Ryan Jamison.
Welcome to the Boneyard Rock Club, PHX Business District, and Tracks. This sim has everything. Rock Club, shops to check out, a track, a beach, and a kid's playground. Yeah, this place is kid-friendly. Camping area, premier unplugged, and more. So come check us out at the Boneyard Rock Club, PHX Business District, and Tracks. Are you looking for a new motorcycle? Can't find one that'll fit your lifestyle? Looking for one that'll turn heads and ride like a dream? Then check out JFC Bikes. We have bikes with the spirit. Made of the best quality bike parts and scripted with the legendary, unique JFC Bike Script. Contact JRA Magic for more information and you could be riding on your dream bike today. They asked me to come over and help you with your issue you guys were going to deal with today. She sadly got drawn away on an emergency for another client. So I'm going to help you deal with Rose. Hey Rose, we need, we need to talk to you. Can you come here for a minute? Well, what the hell do you want, Lilith? We need you to take care of something for us. It'll be easy in and out job. Now, why in the world would I want to do that? Because you're a Jameson. And, well, they're known for taking care of these types of jobs. All you have to do is take a box from one of the lockers and then bring it back here to us. And why would I agree to grab this box, whatever it is? Because that is what your family does, if the price is right. Who's the target and how much? The target is a mutual interference of ours, and the price you won't say no. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could do it. I could always use the extra money. Yeah, but that, you know, wonder who that could possibly be. Thank you, Airwolf. We appreciate that that uh, generous donation. Yeah, Remember, right. folks, if you donate, then you don't get copies of LG's book. Everyone else, you're getting one. <laughs> no, Dante, come on. Really? That's being mean. Seriously, Just think about it. A free copy of toilet paper for everybody who does not tip. Guaranteed to be the roughest, toughest, and take nothing off the back door. Guys, guys, Matt, thanks so much for that donation. Come on, guys, be nice. All right, if we have to. I guess we're getting ready for our next match, which is going to be Maven Gothley versus Alex the Insane One Camino. Now, I've I've known both of these guys for a long time, and this is certainly going to be a interesting matchup if I've ever seen one. It certainly is. And thanks again to all those people who also just donated. And just a quick reminder, every single time you donate... It also does go to help us keep this show running for you and to put on the best show possible. So every single Linda that you donate goes right back into putting this show out there for all the people here and on live on YouTube. Yes, it does. Wish, thank you so much for that donation. We'll no. be sure to hook you up with the finest in tool paper technology. Hey, Lord, folks. And making his way to the ring, the man we were just talking about, coming to us from Corpus Christi, Texas. The one percenter, the Mave Machine, standing 6'6", six, six, weighing 265 pounds, the legendary Maven Gothley. And Maven is part of Old School with Uncle Bobby. The tag team, Uncle Bobby. Yes, Maven's a longtime veteran of uh, professional wrestling. He has, uh, he has gotten his knee fixed up lately, which is good. Because uh, he's taken a few injuries in the past, but is still going strong. So That's right. he might he spend some time in the off season going and getting some injections into his knee with some stem cells to help heal it up. Yeah, he might be around for a long. He's been around for a long time, but don't call him old man because he's anything but old. Why I never. Well, it looks like his opponent is on the way out. Standing in at five foot 11, weighing 190 pounds, hailing in from Swansea, Wales, Alex, 
the uh, same one, Camino. I've seen Alex around before, and insane is definitely a good moniker for him. This guy is absolutely nuts. I don't know if you want to hear what Alex has to say. I mean, I mean, he's from Wales. He's in, it's impossible to uh, understand what those people are saying sometimes. You know, just like Dory, everyone has to learn how to speak whale. Uh, there's a, a long... Jumping in, your first match is uh, against Maven Gothley? Well, I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound, I suppose. Yeah, that is insanity right there at its best, jumping in against Maven. Okay, I'll go with the insanity of going against Maven for your debut match. Yes. Kind of staring at him. Oh, there they go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hoping this match will last longer than the last one. Well, no offense to nothing, but, you know, they did go and get beat beforehand. And, I mean, this is experience first insanity, so we'll see what, who will win. Oh, that was a, a nice reversal from Alex Camino from the, of the uh, reversing out of that wrist lock, putting Maven into a uh, wrist lock of his own. And now Maven reverses the reverse. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna kind of give you know the newcomer. I'm gonna kind of go with the newcomer here. I really am, just because he's the insane one. I'm gonna go with the newcomer. What about yes. you guys? Well, I mean, like I said, I've known I've known Maven for a while, so I gotta go with Maven. But you know, there's something to be said for insanity. Expect the hood expected. Hey, I'm the insanity one here. That's my trademark word. That's my catchphrase. I'm going, like I said, I'm going with the insane one. You see? Yeah. What's the, what about EOC? Oh well. I think EOC's headset is uh, turning is turned off again. Ah. Jeez Louise, we got to get these microphones fixed. But this is kind of this is kind of an odd opening for this match. <laughs> Maven's showing a lot of a uh, technical wrestling. He's very capable of doing that, but Maven's more of a powerhouse than anything, and so we don't generally see a lot of holds and technical moves like that. You know what? You know what? I think they finally got my microphone working again. You guys, sorry about that. You know, that didn't happen when I was general manager. Well, you know, it, it did a few times. I'm kidding. I'm Look, kidding. This is NAW. I'm pretty sure they stole these headphones out of the back of some guy's car when they weren't paying attention. Let's be honest. You're probably right. All right. And again, Maven in the, has Camino in the middle of the ring locked up in an abdominal stretch. So, yes, uh, we have so far, we have myself for Maven. Nene for uh, Alex, who do you favor in this match, EOC? You know what? Alex may be a new guy, but I certainly see that he's got some great moves, and he should have a pretty fair good fight with Maven, but I'm going to have to give it to the experience at the end of the day. It's Maven. Yes, and you see Maven is uh, using a lot of technical ability to try and control this match to keep Alex from, well, trying anything insane, because we haven't really seen much of an offense out of Camino yet. Maybe this is part of his insane strategy. Get his face beat in, fall over, pretend like he's losing, and then win. And, ah, so, my, my face to your fist technique. Exactly, exactly. Well, but here we go. Alex with a big headbutt right across Maven's face. And as a quick reminder, any all and all gambling in the audience, do remember that a 5% cut goes to your comms team as a gracious host. Exactly. Oh, 
And Alex with the face breaker. Seems Alex is intent on doing a lot of damage to Maven's head this match. Good thing uh, I've seen Maven get hit over the head with a kitchen sink. And there he goes out of the rig. That was an impressive move. Maven's a big man. And knocking him out of the ring like that's not an easy thing to do. Exactly. Especially for somebody in Alex's size. I mean, that was one forceful move to get him out of the ring. Exactly. Like I said, I've seen Maven get hit with everything, including the kitchen sink. So it's going to take a lot more than that to keep Maven Gothley down and out. Looks like the ref has started the count. Both athletes better get their way back into the ring or they could both just consider this match a forfeit. Yeah, and, uh, and nobody wants to see that. We like action here in NAW. Right, uh... Alex is just throwing punches at Maven right now. Probably not a good idea. The power game is not one you want to play with Maven Gothley. Exactly. But then again, the insane one. I mean, it's all in the name. What can you say? Uh, Alex shoving Maven against the barricade. The ref is up to a six count. They better get back in the ring. Alex can't win on the outside. Exactly. Like Maven's I... trying to catch his breath for a minute. Now the ref's up to seven. They better hurry up. Maven with a... Or, I'm sorry, Alex with a DDT on the outside. Oof. That's going to be a bad day for Maven. I don't care how big you are. Those DDTs hurt. They do. And now the ref's up to eight. Alex is back in the ring. This will stop the count. Maven reeling from that blow. The ground out there might be padded, but still, that's concrete out there. And Maven just got his head bounced off it. Now he's climbing up into the ring. You know, the important part is, is they're both back in the ring where they belong. Yeah, looks like that blow might have rocked Maven's, uh, rocked Maven a little bit because he's still having some trouble getting up. But now Alex Camino is climbing up to the top rope. Alex better capitalize quick on this. This is high risk, high reward. Maven staggering back up to his feet. Alex looming over him. Alex with a flying cross body. That's a pin. One, two. Is he going to get it? A, no, only a two. I said, oh. going to take a lot more to keep Maven Gothley down. You know, at this point, it almost looks like Maven's taking the hits just to prove that he can. Yeah. You know, that was a, that was a little crazy. You know, I'm still waiting to see what insane things Alex is going to do. Well, at this point, he showed us a couple of crazy moves, but nothing too insane just yet. Yeah, I mean, getting into a headbutting contest with Maven with Maven is uh, pretty crazy. I wouldn't do it. Not going to end well for either party. Let's let's face it. In a headbutt, nobody wins. I had Alex trying to drag Maven to the center of the ring. Maven breaks three, free, and now Maven throwing those big punches. Yeah, he definitely made a mistake. He gave Maven just a moment to catch his breath, and now he's back in control of this fight. Almost. Maven comes off the ropes, but gets caught with an elbow to the face. Oof. And now Alex with the punches. I am surprised to see them trade blows like this. I did not expect this out of the newcomer. Oh, a big kick to the gut. And now Maven off the ropes with a big jumping lariat. Oof. I mean, look at me. Maven's arms are almost as big around as Alex's thighs. He almost took Alex's head clean off with that. And now Maven's stomping on Alex in the center of the ring. Yeah, Maven's usually a nice guy, but once he gets in that ring, he's all business. I think Alex might be in trouble here. 
They've been pulling Alex back up to his feet. And Alex sent hard into the corner, and here comes Maven Charge again, delivering furious gut punches. Yeah, that is definitely going to leave a mark. You know, those look like soft padded corners, but behind that is one hell of a hard bar. Exactly. There are steel hooks holding the ropes there. Now Maven trapping Alex in the corner with knee strikes. Ref giving him a warning, get out of the corner. That's right. You can't win a fight keeping somebody pinned in a corner like that. It's just not any fair. Now Maven has Alex in that front face lock, dragging him back out to the center of the ring. If Alex has wants any hope of winning this match, he better start pulling out some of that insane stuff we've been promised. You know, I feel like this is exactly how it's going to end up. Maybe Alex came out and made some flashy moves. Alex surprising everybody with only a two count, able to kick out after that big suplex from Maven. Oof. You know, he may have been able to kick out, but really, how much energy does he have left? Well, Alex just keeps getting back up after he keeps getting beat down. You know, he uh, these two guys, I guess this is going to come down to who wants it more. Experience versus insanity, like we were saying before. Maven going with the uh, assault on the ground with the fist drop, followed up by double axe handle. Now he's just dragging Camino around the ring, trying to uh, do something to make him stay down. Looks like he's setting up for something big. Yeah, Maven is stalking Alex, daring him to get up. Uh, we might see Maven with his finisher here. I've seen him finish many a match with a head-on collision. We might see that. Here we go. He goes for the head-on collision, but Alex ducks underneath it. Alex ducking under the finisher. Maven Gothley coming off the ropes, hitting him with a drop kick to the face. You know, this could be his big chance to come back. Maven is down. Now is the time to capitalize and get that pin in and go for the win. Here we, here we go. Alex once again up to the top rope into the danger zone. We finally, we're going to see the final insanity of Alex Camino here. What's going to happen? Alex with Air Camino going for a moonsault. It looks like he missed, and Maven rolled out of the way at the last second. Ow. That has to hurt. I'm telling you, coming off that top rope, you got to imagine, they're 10, 15 feet, and when they springboard off the top of that, you're looking at almost a 15, 20-foot drop. And the insanity of Alex failed. Oh, this is bad. Maven is singling for the end. This is all over, folks. Engine failure. It's another signature move of Maven Gothley. And we have the pin. One, two, and three. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Maven Gothley, your winner in this fight. One hell of a performance for both fighters. But in the end, experience wins the day. Why am I here? I have been with you since time began. And I will make you confess. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what, what was that? 
I have no idea. What was that? I'm a little bit concerned here, ladies and gentlemen. I really have no idea who that was and how they managed to interrupt our broadcast. Are you looking for anime roleplay in Second Life? Well, we have it here at Tohoku. We are a modern-day Japanese small town located on the northern west coast of Japan. Anime-inspired roleplay using a quick, easy, fair, and balanced roleplay system. We have police, fire, rokan, shinchu shrine, school, arcade, beach, and homes are available. This is anime roleplay at its finest. We are Tohoku. Are you looking for a beach town with an amusement park that's right on the boardwalk? Or one that has an exciting nightclub and plenty of inexpensive homes to rent? Well, right here at Karen's Cove, we have it all. Look no further. If you would like more information, please contact Isaiah Zay Jenkins, Apollo Cypress, Nene Lyons Ember, Renee Simithorn Nickers, or Randy Glenfath. Hello. And welcome to Sunshine Estates. We are a fresh roleplay community with many things to offer. Friendly owners and neighbors, community events, all town amenities, and more. We bring realism to town roleplay. Sunshine Estates is a comfortable and safe place to visit or make as your home. Please contact Chris Cole, that's Martin84Core, C-O-R-E, for more information. All right, folks, it looks like we are back. Man, this is going to be a Titanic main event with Danny Thunder versus Alexius Gant. You know, the Italian Stallion versus the Italian Stallion. Huh. Anyways. You know what? An Italian beef sandwich was bound to happen at some point. I can, I can, I can certainly go for some pizza after this match. As long as there's no pineapples involved, you're okay. Uh, EOC, and here I thought we could be friends. I guess we can't. There's just some things a man cannot take a stand on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in to the arena, standing at 250 pounds, at an impressive six foot seven from Rome, Italy. It is the Danny the Thunder. You know, one time I made the mistake of asking Danny how Sicily was this year, and he almost hit me. Look, you don't talk about an Italian family homeland like that. Well, I, I, I didn't know Sicily wasn't considered part of Italy. Sometimes you just gotta crack a book, oh. you know, read the hey. internet, pay attention. I guess. Well, here you go, Danny. Danny wants a mic. Perhaps he has something to tell us all. You can cut my music now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday's Madness NAW. Yes, finally, we got our space in the place. Yes, we made it. And as you saw before, all the performers came out saying that they're the best on what they do. Yeah, everyone said that. But they forgot something. They forgot how I feel to be here in NAW. Yeah. They forgot that I started the fire here. Yeah. I was the one to start all of this that now you can see in this arena. Also, they forgot that maybe 
And I will prove that, that I'm the best in this arena. And I'm damn sure that I will prove that to you all here, right now. Why? Because I will be the leader of this roster. Trust me, you will see that. Well, looks like his opponent has something to. S looks like his opponent has something to say about that. Yeah, this is some gentleman that's certainly not going to sit by and just listen to somebody talk about being the best without showing up and showing out. Ladies and gentlemen, standing in at six foot three, weighing two hundred and fifty six pounds. Railing from the great country of Italy, it's the Italian dragon, Alexius Gant. At the music, please. Hey, 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 Danilo. I have uh, something uh, to say about it. But first, I want to say to you, and I will respect you. You are like a brother for me, and you are a very good wrestler, you are very strong, blah, 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 blah. We are both Italian, we have shared many experiences in the world of wrestling. But there is something I don't like. You talk about the NHL debut that now has this place, space in this place. Uh, you talk as you you wanted to to take all the credits. You talk as uh, you think you are the leader, but this thing is so, so wrong. Come on, everyone knew why the hand AW has its place here. It's because of me. You did nothing. I did. I brought the victory. But if you now want to prove that you're better than me, you have a chance right here, right now. A strong words from Alexius and Danny. Both guys were uh, sided with NAW during the conflict, and you know, Alexius yeah. seems to be tired of Danny getting all the credit for being the leader, and they obviously have a little bit of an agenda against one another. It was bound to happen when you got two roosters in the hen house, it's bound to lead to a fight. Exactly, they both got that machismo and that pride on the line, and uh, both are, are here to prove that they're the best. Both of them longtime veterans, both have a lot of experience, a lot of skill. Danny, however, is a two-time hardcore champion. I have to say, though, Danny's the only Italian Viking I've ever met. This is true, but they do exist, as I proven by our friend in the ring. You know, I, I think there's nothing wrong with a little bit of mead going with your pizza. Exactly. There's one thing, you know what? We finally found some common ground there, brother. I can certainly agree with that. Hey, there you go. All right. It looks like Alex, Alexia is starting off with a hammer lock. Danny reverses out of it, comes off the ropes, but gets caught into an arm drag. That's not going to keep him down for long. No, Danny, not at all. Not the slightest. This is going to be one hell of a match for sure. And you know what? This is just a fight between two men trying to take over the leadership of NAW. This is a fight for pride. This is a fight for Mother Italy. 
Yes, it is. It's molto bene, as they say. I get. I don't know. I'm American. I only speak English and bad English. <laughs> let's all. Uh, let's face it. You don't even speak bad English. You speak bad suits. Hey, wait a minute. Who put the drool bucket in front of me? Uh, it was EOC. He did it. Really? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I I apologize, there, partner in crime. But if you get any more spit on my suit, we're gonna have a problem. Uh, whatever. All right, well, you know, looks like sounds like the fans are pretty evenly divided between these two. You know, uh, who has the most attitude in this match? Come on, fans. You have to cheer if you want your wrestler to win. Yeah, we need to hear it. Come on, let us hear who you want. Danny or Alexis? The Alexis. hammer and the dragon. Oh. And let's face it, neither man's going to back down. And without your energy and your excitement... They're going to be the one to push for the win, so let them hear it. Exactly. Zay, this match is certainly going to be a test of skills, because I think these two are pretty evenly matched in that term. And these, it, it's kind of crazy how evenly these two are. High height, weight, reach, experience, skill level. And if these two guys were on the same team, they'd almost be unstoppable. But I don't think that's going to happen. We have somebody who doesn't want either. So, I mean, wow. If you're enjoying these performers' work, show them. Shout, cheer, donate. All the donations you go to Premier Wrestling help keep these shows coming two, three shows every week. Come on, guys, let us know. You know, I can't. I, I was, wasn't a fan of Danny joining NAW, but I think I, I, Danny's one of the few NAW members I actually have some respect for. Because yeah. Danny's a lot of things, but a liar and a cheater is not one of them. Unlike some members. This is true. You know what? I have to give you some credit there. The man has earned a little bit of respect in his time and career. Alexius with the big monkey flip just tossing Danny Ooh. into the center of the ring. That is one hurt man right now. He is definitely going to feel that in the morning. Now, and now Alexius is up on the top rope. Went for a went to jump, but gets caught by Danny. Danny selling off that raw Viking power with a fall away slam. Wow, the two of them in here. It's just amazing to watch them both. The just the literally. energy, the raw energy between these exactly. two is amazing. Exactly. Danny hurling Alexis into the, Alex. I'm sorry, Alexius into the into the ropes like the hammer of Thor, catching him right back with a big backbreaker. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If Alexis gets into too many fights with a couple of these guys from NDW and takes too many low blows, he might actually turn into Alexia. But Danny got a pin, but only a two count. Uh, did you see the power that Danny just th threw Alexius with? Alexius come, ducked underneath a clothesline, came back off the ropes, and hit Danny with a drop kick. Just so amazing to watch these two. Oh, and Alexius going up. Oh! And the diving double knee drop. Oh, gosh. I don't care how tough you are, that's going to hurt.
just the sheer amazement of these two men in there just amazing um the insanity going on in the ring it's just amazing literally definitely these two are both uh, hardcore but very dedicated to their craft there goes danny over the top rope with a clothesline landing on the st landing on the steel walkway ow Any better call up some of that lightning and thunder if he wants to uh, get back in this match. Danny getting up hurt. He's certainly oh. going to have to take the thunder in his name and make some kind of big boom kind of move. Alexius over the top rope with a somersault plancha. That Again, onto the steel platform. Oof. That is a bad day. I don't care who you are. Ref starting his count. They're both out of the ring now. Alexius is dragging, uh, Al uh, dragging Danny down the steel steps. Just so. Ooh. Sounds like the crowd does it doesn't like that. They're chanting "You suck" at Alexius. Well, yeah, they're I mean... definitely letting their emotions be known. And I tell you, we couldn't encourage it more, ladies and gentlemen. Tell them they... how you feel. Danny with a drop, using a drop toll hold to knock Alexius face first into the apron. And then Danny grabbing him and smashing Alexius's head repeatedly on the hardest part of the ring. Ow! Uh, he's gonna need some Excedrin or something after that. Is Nurse Abby in the house? Oh God, please no. Nay, nay, the nurses are supposed to be, make people better, not worse. Uh, pardon me, but if you haven't seen Nurse Willa when she's on the arena, she's certainly going to take somebody out. Right, the ref is still, uh, still on their count. They're uh, still on the outside, still fighting on the uh, steel walkway. <clears throat> Danny finally throwing Alexius back into the ring. Danny you know, I have to agree with Abby from the audience there. She certainly is a great nurse if you want to have your arm rearranged. Danny with a huge leg drop. Danny trying to get some momentum back, trying to build up this energy he needs to take down the Italian dragon, Alexius Gant. Danny with the Bifrost. For those of you who don't know, Bifrost is the rainbow bridge that connects Asgard to Midgard, the home of the gods to Earth in Norse mythology. Or in the movie Thor, as you saw from Marvel. Either or. And let me tell you, the nerd section over at the local library is what connects Dante to what he's saying right now. Oh, come on, guys. Don't be jealous of my dice collection. Hey, 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 hey. Danny has Alexius up on his shoulders. Setting up for something big. And the Thor's hammer but Alexius rolls out of it at the last second. Alexius goes off the ropes for the styling DDT. Oh. Very nice move. Crowd doesn't seem to like this. Alexius with a pin, one, two, only two count. I'm telling you, this is all about pride. Neither man is going to back down until they're absolutely beaten. Senseless.
Mewtwo have just given 100% this match, but neither has been able to keep the other down for that vital three count. Danny throwing Alexis face first into the corner and he hits the referee, Grayson. Now the ref is down. Oh, oh man, I, hopefully they didn't kill Grayson. Well, you know, Grayson. guys, <laughs> he's a new ref. Can we, you know, take it easy and not break him in on the first match? I mean, welcome to NAW. Oh, no. Did we kill, the, did we kill him? Oh, no. Hopefully we did kill the hopefully we did kill the ref on his first day. Oh nah, Lord. He's still twitching, he's fine. I'm not sure what Alexius is doing. He just knocked Danny to the ground. The ref is still out, so I d I don't know what's going on. We're not supposed to be killing refs, guys. Uh oh, uh, Grayson, come on, get up, Grayson. Danny trying to fight back with those knee strikes. No, no, we don't kill the refs. No, we don't <coughs> kill the refs. Otherwise, the match will never end. Yes, we don't want that. We don't want our refs to die. No, no. Do you, know, you know how much paperwork that is? It's at least 10 and minutes Danny, of the paperwork, oh, and I don't da feel like doing it. Danny with Freya's beheading, one of his signatures. But the ref is down. Danny, who's going to count the three? Oh, no. Alexius is down, but there's no ref. <laughs> oh, gosh. Danny goes for the pin, but there's no one to count. One, two, One, two three. three. Nothing. Four, what? five, six, seven. Um, we could count, but there's nothing we could do. Uh, Grayson, wake up, Grayson. Hey, somebody go like throw some. Uh, go throw your drool bucket on him. That'll wake him up. I don't think he really wants me to throw my drill bucket on him. I don't think he's really going to like that. Oh, you see, see, he, he heard us talking about it. He's like, uh-uh, I'm getting up. <laughs> Alexius, Alexius just hit Danny with a low blow while the ref was down. Hasn't been a pin. With a one, a two, and a three. Alexius, with a dirty move, steals the victory. Ooh. You know what? Hey. It may have been a dirty move, but at the end of the day, he walks away with the W. Yep. Well, the crowd is certainly not pleased with that maneuver, letting him know exactly how they feel. Well, the ref didn't see it, so the ref didn't see it, you know? I'm pretty sure the ref was taking a nap for the last 10 minutes. He didn't see much of anything. Jeez, well, folks, that's, this has been our show, uh, the first episode of NAW. We're happy you all came out. We thank you so much. We do this for you guys, the fans, you know, the wrestlers, the staff, the referees, us commentators. We're all so thankful for all of you coming out. We do this for you guys. So, again, thank all of you so very much. It wouldn't be possible without each and every one of you sitting out here in the crowd tonight. So thanks again for being such an amazing crowd and having an awesome night watching these guys get up into the stage.